In gearing up for the next episode about Apple and the TV movie industry, I found something that everyone who cares about the internet needs to see. It's a little risky, but it's worth it. First what is the state of, you know, between the north and the south of California? What's going on? Now, this guy is the Ari Gold of Hollywood, and he's not used to being challenged by just anyone. That you will never again say anything offensive to me about my race or my sexual orientation. I can't swear to that, but I promise I will always apologize after. You read The New Republic? Uh, I've heard of it. Well, I was reading that. And it's interesting, because what it says is that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> a little memory trick when they introduce themselves, word association, like you say Eric Murphy, and I think, you know, loser. Like Ari Gold, douchebag. Mm -hmm. Ari Emanuel is smart and well-connected. I'm really controlling myself from not swearing right oh, now. Oh, I want you to. <laughs> Even though he doesn't represent everyone in Hollywood, he does represent the most powerful forces fighting piracy and the openness of the Internet. California cannot figure out um, how to deal with content, stop it from being stolen. Well, I think that Southern California probably screwed this up. We, we started the problem with SOPA. I don't think Northern California has been that great either. So far, he sounds reasonable. If Google was in China and they were stealing their intellectual property, they would leave China, right? But if it's okay that our stuff gets stolen for free and they can't figure out as smart as they are to stop that. What the hell was he talking about? Did he just imply that Google is responsible for piracy? Where Google decides to play in this piracy issue and AT&T and Verizon decide to play in it is a very crucial issue for our economic. If they don't stop the stealing of content and, you know, I think it's a problem. Now, that's not a logical argument. Oh, okay. At least he admits this is illogical. Somebody robbed my house, and they drove a car down a road to get to my house, so you have to do something about the road or something about the car. That's is a stupid it, example, but that's okay. Is it? <laughs> How is it AT&T, Verizon, and Google's responsibility to keep your stuff safe? I mean, they're, they're not policemen. They don't police things. So when, it, and, and I appreciate this, when people are looking at, and I don't mean to say, you know, uh, uh, child pornography, they can, they can actually filter that, they stop those people, they, they actually do do that because that's not right. You know something, stealing is a bad thing, and child pornography is a bad I thing. I agree. Huh? We're okay, in agreement great. on that. Thank you. We're in agreement on that. Thank you. But, 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 you can't tear up the road so people can't get you, your house. You know something, you need to sit down, that's a bad example, okay? This, that's a bad example. I, Go sit down, and then think of something else, and come back up, and I'll scream at you again. Did he just answer one analogy with a worse analogy? Child pornography and copyrights are two very different things. While both are wrong, piracy mostly affects big studio production budgets, but child pornography affects innocent children. Now that's a misinformed analogy. Like Ari Gold, douchebag? Mm -hmm. Eventually, I think people are gonna pay for not two cats on a couch. I think they're gonna pay a lot more money for Seth MacFarlane or any of the people that are represented in Southern California. If you look at what you called unscripted TV yeah. on these cable channels, right. it's really not too different from those two dogs and two cats right. on YouTube. <laughs> Here, Ari shows he doesn't understand the internet. It allows everyday people to interact with each other. People like Jenna Marbles, Philip DeFranco, CGP Grey, and Mystery Guitar Man are creating the entertainment of the future. Your valuable attention is shifting from the decisions made by Hollywood executives like this to the bedrooms of creative people everywhere. From subs to advertising, it's about a hundred billion dollar um, infrastructure that's in Hollywood and the television. If we went a la carte, I think it drops to 40 billion if you could figure out that model with us your projection that this hundred billion goes down to 40 billion I mean the, 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 the real issue isn't isn't if but it's when now I enjoy premium content I love going to the movies but my problem is the TV the TV business needs your attention and it has been losing this battle as more great independent content is released on the internet huh? cord cutting is not happening but cord never is happening kids and what I say, well, kids, I, know I that, mean, people I know as old as 30 right. are just not getting, you know, the, they would die without an internet subscription. And they may get that from the cable company. Right. But that's an internet subscription. In terms of the TV piece of the, or the other two pieces of the triple play, they're completely uninterested in that. Yeah.
I'm all for supporting creativity wherever it's found. I still pay for cable, and I buy movies on iTunes. But more of us are finding great entertainment outside the typical primetime series budgeted at a million dollars per episode. Do you, does that bother you at all? No. What's your plan? Because I do, I What's do, your plan I do for think that at a certain point in time when people get to a certain age, it's not how they will... Re I, maybe I'm being naive here. It's not how they will handle themselves as it relates to stealing stuff and taking stuff and not paying for what? Now the TV business in Hollywood is huge. The problem for Ari is he needs to grow the revenue of content creators represented by people like him. There is a precedent for this economic disruption in the TV business. So why not make the deals now? Because the pirates are coming. Where's the deal to make? You can't control the market price. You can't say, here's the no, price. No, but then you don't you get the product because you can't produce the product for what you're going to pay. Right, that's the point. That's what's going to happen to the TV industry. But in 20 years, the reason that piracy hasn't picked up in TV is because it's I'll really be easy 70. to share a song I'm and good. not easy 70, to share. You know, you, you... I'll, be, I'm 70, I'll be 71. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, he's good. I don't know the answer to your question. Nobody said any of us down south are geniuses. <laughs> The main question Ari should be asking is not how do I stop piracy, but rather, how do I create more engaging content beyond just cheap reality shows? So the asset goes from distribution to now content creators. Before, if you wanted a career in entertainment, you needed people like him. Today, really creative people only need the support of the internet to launch careers in music, entertainment, fashion, and movies. Power is shifting, and we need to make sure the internet continues to win. This is the fundamental change that the internet is bringing to Hollywood. And I, for one, can't wait to see what's next.